Hi, this is Eric Van Winkle, your realtor with Mammoth Dwell and MRG, and we are on a walkthrough tour of Timber Ridge Unit 27. And this is the view from the flight of stairs. It's one flight up from the garage, which has a single car garage. Let's go inside and let you take a look at this. It is a two bedroom, 1.75 baths. As you come into the main area, to the right is your kitchen, and we'll take you in there. It appears to have newer cabinetry and uh, some ceramic tile. This is facing west towards the back of the complex, and uh, appears to have a new stainless steel sink, dishwasher, I'm sorry, yeah, dishwasher range, and uh, has a black microwave and black oven. Let me pan around for you can see out into the living area. So at Timber Ridge, you are at a true ski in, ski out. This is right above Eagle Lodge. So you can ski down to chair 15 and then ski right back to your condo. You'll have to walk a little bit up the driveway and then plop your skis on or snowboard, but uh, you can get ready to go. So in here, you've got a fireplace wood burning. I have to confirm if that is uh, EPA approved town of Mammoth Lakes. And the other heat is electric. There's floor heaters. But let me take you out and show you the monster views. Because when you're up here, this is what you're going to get. So that's facing off to the north this direction. This is the driveway coming in. And like I mentioned, there's a one-car garage underneath. Pan back towards the east. All the way down to Crowley and the White Mountains. And then over to the right, the Sherwins. And... Uh, towards the south. So you'd have to walk up this little road here and then ski right out the end there where that truck is kind of poking out. And uh, you'd be heading down to Eagle Lodge. So people don't know, there's not a lot of ski in, ski out in Mammoth. So this is a great opportunity. And uh, this is the dining area. Now here in the back on the west side, during the summer, fantastic. This is a below ground level. You can see the ground up there on the top. Deck and patio that is shared I'll pan around so you can see it with the unit to the right. I think there's two units over there, actually. Um, nice feature for the summer, but in the wintertime, this is probably going to fill up pretty quick, I'm assuming. But those are things to consider. I will give you things to consider, and you can decide if they are a positive or a negative, depending on what you're looking at. So it is partially furnished, and I'm going to go down the hallway. It is listed for $405,000. And it is 400, I'm sorry, 987 square feet. And this is the front bedroom. It has a bathroom off this, three-quarter bathroom. It's facing out towards the east. Nice views. That's your closet to the left. I'm going to pan around and show you this bathroom. Stand-up corner unit, stool, and appears to have newer cabinets here. Let me show you. Here in the lab with the cabinet and lavatory sink. And it still sits over there in the corner. Let's go back to the second little game area here. Desk. Move back towards the west. There's a walk through. Vanity to your right here. That is original. This unit was built in 1973. There's the bedroom. There's a window facing out to the north into that patio area I showed you and a closet, and then over here is the uh, stool and the full tub and uh, shower enclosure. Get a look at this. Now these are organic videos. This unit has not been cleaned since the rental program. I understand it does well on the winter, winter program, but uh, this is a great little two bedroom, 1.75 bath, um, and the HOAs are 474, which at this altitude, you are at 8,676 feet. You're in one of the higher points in Mammoth, and that HOA is pretty reasonable for moving snow up here. Go back out and let you just enjoy this view off your deck. Has Trek material here and a grill to the left. Straight in front is the clubhouse, pool, and sauna. Uh, nice in the summer times. But uh, the things to consider also, when you get this high, uh, there's a nice little road to get up here. So you're gonna have to drive up some mountain road to get up to this kind of height and uh, you just need to consider that also when you're looking at this. So I hope you found this uh, video helpful. This is Eric with Mammoth Dwell and MRG, and uh, we'll see you on the next walkthrough tour. Thanks.